Okay. Um, the first question is, why and how did you get into the tech side of the church? Yeah, how did I get started in the tech side? Um, basically, um, I had worked in an office for a little while, so I had some computer skills. And when I got started into the church, um, they asked me to be a youth leader. It was just one of those things that I used whatever tools that I had, which was some of the office tools of working on a computer. And then I was like, okay, I can do this. I can do my lesson a little bit better if I incorporate this. Well, then it just started to become more of a thing that advanced. So I was like, okay, we can do this with uh, maybe a camera. So we would do skits and stuff on, on stage. And one of the ways that we would take our skit to try to get it out to more people than just the people that were attending the church was we would record it on video and put it on YouTube. And this is nine years ago, back when YouTube was a little different than what it is now. So uh, that's kind of how it was. It's just I had a few talents and resources that I had, some tools in my toolbox, you could say. And then I just started applying those to make my uh, job a little easier at the church and to you know maybe further the message that we were trying to give a little further. Mm. Um, how, how long have you been working with the tech? Yeah, that's a good church. question. Um, so I've been a full-time youth pastor for five years and then before that uh, for seven years. So pretty much since the day that I uh, started working in the churches, I've been using any kind of form of tech. Um, of course, you know, with technology, it advances so much through the years. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, at first I was recording a lot of my videos with a little point-and-shoot Canon camera that I had. And uh, it actually recorded some pretty good video. And then along the way, year after year, I would improve my gear, improve my tech, and just, uh, you know, get a little bit better with each year. Hmm. Um, did you have an interest in technology when you were in school? Um, I wouldn't say so much like video, but the only interest that I had and technology uh, being younger was video games <laughs> everybody you know because I grew up in the age of Atari and then uh, Nintendo and then there was Sega so you know I, I was really interested in that kind of stuff and then uh, back when we had VHS player do you know what a VHS tape is do you guys know what a VHS tape is <laughs> so I had a VHS player and I had interest on how that works, so I would even take like a, another VHS tape so I could make duplicates of some of the videos that we would watch and have at home. Uh, so it was just one of those things is, yeah, as a kid, I just kind of gravitated toward that. I was able to hook up my Atari when my mom was not able to. I was able to, to unhook my Nintendo, take it over to my friend's house and hook it up um, because I just knew I had interest in that kind of stuff. So yeah, I, I've always had interest in, in technology. What kind of... Um audio visual stuff do we use in, at, at the church? At here, presently? Yeah. Okay, so as far as the audio visual goals, um, we take our sermons every week and we put those out there on um, a couple different platforms. We were putting them out there on a website called Vimeo, uh, but now it's mostly just Facebook and YouTube. Uh, it seems like everybody lives at Facebook. A lot of our attention is 80% uh, is more on Facebook than it is any other platform. Uh, so as far as uh, video goes, we put it there. Uh, we do a lot of the live stream now because that's becoming more um, popular in today's day and age. It's so easy to live stream. You can do it from a cell phone. And uh, so we do it that way. I mean, we have computers in just about every room in the church uh, that we use media with uh, TVs. I mean, because you can buy a TV for like you know, two hundred dollars anymore, so that it's a lot cheaper. Uh, more, it's a, it's it's easier to get some of this gear because the prices have gone down. So, yeah, we uh we use video every week for our sermons. Uh, we use media in every classroom to help, uh, you know, uh, entertain the kids a little bit, but uh, also to enhance the messages that we're preaching on a every week basis. So. Mm. Well, do you do we use a, do we use soundboards? Yeah, uh, so we do have a big old soundboard. Now, when you're talking about soundboards, that's a little bit out of my feel. I know I'm, I know enough to make me dangerous, uh, <laughs> but I don't know it that well. But uh, uh, we do have a soundboard that we use that um, takes in 
I mean, it's, it's one of those professional boards. It was like a twelve, fifteen thousand dollar soundboard. Um, but yeah, we use that to take all the worship that we do, all the singing, and project it into the congregation uh, at a pretty level basis. Where you know, one we can, if somebody's a really strong singer, we can take them down a little bit to uh, you know even it out with somebody that's a little bit you know, quieter, like yourself. <laughs> What are the different kinds of microphones that we use? Yeah, so uh, I know that some of them are the Sennheiser mics. Um, I, as far as the brands go, I don't really know all the brands. I do know that we have three different types of mics. Um, we have the, the regular ones that are a microphone that the singers uh, sing right into, but then sometimes we have some of these microphones that, like when we're doing a Christmas play, they go on the, on the floor. And so they can pick up some of the dog because we can't mic up every actor that we have on the stage. Uh, our typical Christmas plays, we have about 20 people. So that would be really expensive if we bought a microphone for each person. Uh, another type of the mics that we have are the ones that hang down from the ceilings. They're called the choir mics uh, that help pick up some of the, uh, the group setting uh, singings that we have. And then uh, we actually we have like the lapel mic. Uh, that pastor preaches with on a Sunday morning, so that just kind of clips on his tie. Uh, so those are the different types that we have here. All right, I'm here with Andrew here. I'm going to give him a quick little tour of our um, sound booth and computer booth here at the church. So right here, Andrew, is our soundboard. And it's uh, the, I don't even know how to pronounce that board, but it's uh, like a $15,000 system here that runs all the worship and stuff that we have going on out there. Um, now we do have a lighting system here that helps with the stage lights of what we got going on the stage whenever we do plays, whenever we need to focus any kind of attention on maybe a specific area on the stage. So we got that light lighting system there. Uh, we got this soundboard right here that where we can record CDs. I mean, there's still uh, a market for some people that like to listen to CDs, even though majority of that stuff is now digital. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, and then all these things here control the different mics, which are color coded right here with each mic. Um, I'm not quite sure what this is. And then CDs for the people that do the worship. Um, over here, we do have a computer that is set up here. This is kind of like our live stream computer. Uh, it's a pretty low-end one. It's a Dell. I'm a Mac guy. I don't know how many of you guys are Mac guys. Um, okay, over here on the other side of our sanctuary. Sanctuary seats about 280 people. But right here is the, uh, the visual center. So over there is the audio center. Over here is the visual center. And then right here is where we uh, display the worship lyrics up on that screen over there. Uh, so it always helps when people have the words uh, to the songs to sing. Uh, we don't normally use hem, hems, hem books anymore. Uh, we just display stuff on the, on the screen, so it makes things a lot easier. Uh, we do have another computer here that we uh, use to help project the, what's going on here in the sanctuary out in the hallways. There. Um, let's go ahead and go up on the stage. So I got a little setup going on here. I record these encouraging word videos. Uh, and I put them out there on YouTube and Facebook. But uh, on any given Sunday here, this is uh, one of the areas, one of the platforms that uh, one of our preachers or our, some of our song leaders will sing at. And then here's kind of a neat little view, but right here is the pulpit area where our pastor preaches to the whole congregation. So, um, over here, we also have the drum system. Uh, we have a couple drummers in our congregation, so we're blessed in that way. Uh, this here is one of our electric pianos. It plays um, like an organ also, so it's got many different kinds of settings that you can do there. Now, our main piano is actually one of the old-fashioned pianos. It's not the electric kind. It's the big old heavy wooden kind, but this is our, our main piano right here. So uh, we do have a bass system here. Uh, and then we have a guitar player, and he brings his guitar uh, with him every Sunday. So those are the main instruments that we have. All right. Okay. Here's a neat little uh, new addition as far as the Internet goes. So this right here is a Velop um, by Linksys. And what it is is that mesh Wi-Fi. Have you heard of mesh Wi-Fi before? Okay, so you take your Wi-Fi, and then before you would be able to hook up these extenders, 
which would then take and split your Wi-Fi, okay? And so therefore, your, your speeds would kind of slow down. But this new mesh Wi-Fi system does not decrease your speeds, but you can then take your main Wi-Fi and spread it out throughout your building, your, your house, your campus, or wherever you're at. So we have like, these are called nodes, and we have one, two, three. We got three different nodes set up around the church, and then we have our main internet where the hub is, and it takes our internet and just kind of spreads it out so that way we can have uh, internet everywhere. All right, so that's our tour here of this uh, church of the, the technologies uh, side of Christ the King Community Church. This is Andrew. I'm Juan. We're out.